Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to conduct a normality check using SAS GMP. So I'll be using one of the sample data available uh, in Jump. So we go to help sample data and for this tutorial I'll just uh, use the student's data set from the analysis of variance. Alright so what we got here is a data set of students age, sex, height, and weight and ID number and uh, let's just assume we want to check the normality of weight are the weights of those students of normal distribution or not so we'll go to the distribution uh, distribution window and let's check the weights and uh, we get the normal distribution uh, sorry we get the distribution uh, plot over here and we, what we want to do to check the normality is uh, click on this uh, small red button and we go to continuous fit fit normal so we want to fit the normal plot and jump has uh, calculated the normal distribution fit and we go over this small plot and we check goodness of fit over here this is the part that interests us the Shapiro Welsh test and we can see that the p-value is uh, extremely small it's less than 0 0.05 and the null hypothesis for a normal distribution is that the data is from a normal distribution uh, similar to people you always assume that a person is is normal until proven otherwise you do not just go and say that this cr a person is crazy or whatever you say that this person is normal the same is with data so our null hypothesis is that data is from a normal distribution and since the p-value is less than 0.05 then we reject the null hypothesis so the weights are not from a normal distribution and this can uh, it's probably because of this uh, outlier here that we have so we have a very overweight student okay let's check it in, a, in another way so I'll just uh, redo and uh, relaunch analysis we can just close the whole thing and start all over and let's have the weight by the gender by sex of uh, the gender of the students Let's close that window. Okay, let me just uh, stack it. So now we have the weights of female students and the weights of male students separately. Now let's again check the weights, uh, the distribution of the weights. So we'll go to the female part, weights, continuous fit, fit normal. And again we go over here and goodness of fit. So our null hypothesis is that data is from normal distribution the weights are normally distributed and what we can see here that the p-value of the Shapiro-Walsh test is uh, greater than 0.05 so we fail to reject or you know, we can say that we accept the null hypothesis so the weights are from normal distribution for the female stu uh, students let's go for the males uh, weights continuous fit fit normal and we want to go to the Shapiro Walsh test alright and now we can see the difference here we have the p-value less than 0.05 so we reject the null hypothesis and the weights are not normally distributed this is probably because of that uh, outlier point so now this is a this is a male student and probably if we just remove this point we would get a normal distribution from the shape uh, another uh, visual uh, visual test of normality uh, again I do recommend using the Shapiro Walsh test visual uh, can sometimes trick you but what we can do is the normal quantile plot what you can see here is that all those points are within those confidence intervals so we can see that the points are between those dotted lines and this is this tells you that the data is normal it's, it, it's not going above those uh, outside the boundaries of those dotted lines while well, if we can so it tells you that the data is normal while for male students if we check the normal quantile plot we can see that those points are going outside the boundaries at some uh, at some parts so it's not normally distributed but again it's always better to check the Shapiro Walsh test uh, thank you for watching if you have any questions just uh, write them down in the comments below and uh, thank you for watching and Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.